What's up guys? So today I'm going to be talking about overcoming the objections of being a new agent. Have you had prospects or property owners or buyers ask you how many properties you sold or how much experience you have or how long you've been in the business and you just don't know quite what to say? You're worried about if they're going to judge you and not want to do business with you and not trust you because you're brand new in the business? It's okay. I got you covered. So I'm Ricky Carruth with Remax of Orange Beach. 16 year real estate agent and you better hit subscribe and hit the bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video on Tuesdays and Thursdays about how I became the number one Remax agent in the state of Alabama. Today I want to talk to you about overcoming your fears and handling any objections you might get about being a brand new real estate agent. I know being a new real estate agent is tough. Everything feels like it's against you. It's hard to get started, it's hard to learn anything, it feels like there's too many realtors and not enough deals, it feels like everybody you talk to has more experience than you, even your prospects sound like they know more than you do about what you're supposed to be representing them on. So it can be very scary and intimidating. So I'm gonna end all that for you right here and now. The first thing I want you to know is that you have a huge upper hand over experienced agents and I really want you to use it. I want you to use it with the clients and your prospects, and I want you to use it yourself to help you become a better agent, but you have an upper hand over experienced agents in the department of time on your hands. Experienced agents are spread too thin. They have too many things going on. They don't have time to give that extra special time to each client and make sure all the, the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted, but you do. You have plenty of time because you're not there yet. You, you, you haven't you know, climbed the mountain and you don't have so much going on that you don't have time to really make sure everything is just perfect. And so use this to your advantage. Explain to your clients that you being brand new is a positive thing for them because you can spend all the time in the world on their deal and make sure everything goes perfect for them and smooth, right? So that this is big. You also have time to research. Right? Experienced agents may or may not have time to research the market every time that they come into the office every morning. I think as a new agent, you should be researching the market, your MLS, every day as soon as you get to the office. Study your MLS for new listings, closed sales, pendings, expires, withdrawals, everything you can learn about the market. And then take that knowledge with you when you're talking to people in the market, when you're making your calls, when you're door knocking, when you're doing open houses. Uh, when you're running Facebook ads, have really recent market information with, on everything you do, all of your marketing campaigns and everything that you're saying to people voice to voice. This is an upper hand you have on experienced agent because you have time to study the market and find out what's new and you can use that new market information and be the first to get it to the market and let everybody know about it. This is a big advantage that you have over experienced agents that you don't realize that you need to be taken advantage of. So the first thing is time. You have so much more time on your hands than experienced agents, right? The second thing is resources. You have the exact same resources as experienced agents. You have the exact same access to market information and data. You have the exact same access to buyers because when you put that property on MLS, that's, it, it's going to be in front of the same exact buyers as the experienced agent. There's going to be no difference in the, the public eye seeing that listing in today's world of MLS and technology. Number three, I want you to believe. I want you to believe in yourself. I want you to believe that you're there to help people. I want you to believe that you're the hardest working agent in your market. I want you to believe that you're dependable and that you're going to do everything you can do to help this person regardless if they do a deal or not. When you believe in your heart that, that you're pure and you're genuine and that you're really there to help somebody, then nothing can really stop you. It doesn't matter if that prospect says, oh, you're a new agent. I don't know if we want to do business with you. You haven't sold anything. You know, that's okay because you're not going to win them all, right? Even I continue to lose deals. I mean, I don't win every single deal that I come across. Some people just don't connect with me. And that's why real estate is unlimited for everybody because not everybody's gonna work with everybody, right? There's so many different personalities out there and you have to use your personality as your strength. You have a unique personality and you need to figure out, you need to learn real early in your career that real estate is about finding the people that you connect with and not worrying about the people you don't connect with. There's gonna be no magic pill or secret formula 
to making everyone do a deal with you. And you just can't worry about the people that do not want to do business with you. There's going to be people in the beginning of your career that don't want to do business with you because you're new. That's fine, but there's going to be people that do want to do business with you because of your personality. And they see that specialness about you. And they realize that, that you are one of a kind and that you're going to go over the top. You're going to help them in every way. You're going to be dependable, professional. You're going to work harder than anyone else on that deal. And you're going to do everything you can do to make sure that that deal goes smoothly for them and that you have their best interest in mind. So when you believe all these things and you understand that you're going to lose some deals along the way and you just have to keep on plugging along to find those people that connect with you, then you're invincible. You don't have to worry about if someone's not going to do a deal with you or not. So you need to believe. Number four is be confident. Be confident when you're communicating with your prospects. Let them know through your tone and your body language that, that you're real and that you're strong and that you're not weak and you're not going to back down. You're going to make this deal happen for them, right? You're going to do everything possible to make sure that this happens for them. And so this kind of goes back to belief. Belief and being confident kind of go hand in hand. When you believe, then you can be confident, right? And when you believe, you just communicate that through your confidence. And number five is to be honest. I want you to be really honest with all of your clients and I want you to totally own it. When they ask you how long you've been in the business, how many properties you've sold, I want you to be totally honest and upfront about exactly who you are and, and, and where you are in your career because I'm here to tell you that being a real estate agent is nothing to sneeze about, right? It's not easy to become a real estate agent. You know, it's a class and it's a test and there's a lot of realtors out there and it seems easy, but not everybody can do it. Not everybody has the dedication to actually go through the process to make it happen. So just the fact that you're a realtor in the first place means something. Just because you don't have any sales yet doesn't mean that they should look down on you and, and, and look at you as though, you know, you're not worthy of their business, right? You should be confident in your abilities and yourself even if you haven't had any sales yet, you should be confident in the fact that you're willing to learn and that you know that you're going to get this. You just need to go through the process a couple times. But I want you to focus more on connecting with your prospect and finding out you know, what their motivations are, you know, find out about their family, find out about their, their occupation, find out about their, their home and their, their animals and their pets and you know, uh, what's their favorite football team. I want you to connect with your clients and concentrate on that over the deal, over the transactions. When you start focusing on the people and you take the deals out of the equation, it's amazing what happens to your business and, and how quickly you start to grow. And, and a lot of times this is a light switch going off in an agent's head because when they first get in, it's all about the deal. But then they hear me in a video say that it's not about the deal. And for some of them, a light switch goes off and then they get it all of a sudden. And then their life is never the same because now they're going after relationships and it's all about the relationship. So I want to go through the five keys to overcoming the new agent objection and overcoming your fears of being a new agent. The first thing is that you have time on your hands and that is an upper hand you have over experienced agents. The second thing is resources. You have the same exact resources as experienced agent. The third thing I want you to believe 100% who you are and why you're here. The fourth thing is I want you to be confident Right? I want you to communicate confidence to your prospects. And the fifth thing is I want you to be completely honest and I want you to own it. I want you to own who you are and where you are in your career. So if you're a new agent, I hope this video really helped you with your mindset going into the business and understanding that you actually have an upper hand over the experienced agents. I hope you take this information and put it into good use and take action. And I want you guys to get out there and just crush it. I want you to crush everything you see, do every deal you can find, and don't worry about the ones that get away. I'll talk to you guys soon.